Welcome to Maze Lico Challenge. Today's problem is count primes. Count the number of prime numbers less than a non-negative number n. So if we're given the number 10, we're going to return 4 because there's 4 prime numbers less than 10. 2, 3, 5, and 7. So I believe it's inclusive um, and they give you a ton of hints here. It's a classic problem and I, I think it's good to kind of go through the basic intuition. Now the first thing that we need to understand is that 0 and 1 are, are not primes and um, that should be obvious but it's, it's good to remember that now normally when you solve this problem uh, say you were doing this in an interview you could probably just uh, move from the numbers like 4 1 to n and for each one of these like check to see in range of like uh, whatever this number up, up here uh, if it's none of these are divisible for that number within this range. So say that we had the number five, um, we could check to see, all right, is it divisible from any number between two, three, four? Uh, if it's divis divisible by any of these numbers, exclusive, that means it's not prime. Now it should only be divisible by its number itself, so five and one, right? But that would end up becoming like an n squared solution. It, it's pretty inefficient. It might be perfectly accepted in an interview, but we can do better. And I actually read about this recently. Uh, there's an algorithm known as the sieve of erothenes. Okay, and here's the basic idea. What we'll do is build an array from zero to all the way to n, the number that we're trying to check for. And what we'll do is first mark all these index numbers as true. Now, what we'll do is build up from the bottom up. Uh, we'll start with number two because zero and one are not primes. And for every number in that we can add 2 to, uh, other than the number itself, 2 is a prime because we're building this top up. We'll just mark that as prime immediately. But every number that um, we add 2 to, like 4, 6, 8, 10, all of these are not going to be prime numbers. So we have to mark all of those as false. Now once we get to the end, we'll start at 3. Now 3 has not been marked as false, so we'll keep that. And then we'll move for all the multi multiples of 3, 3, 6, 9. If any of those are um, not marked as false, we mark those as false all the way up to the final range. And we continue this algorithm until we've marked every single one of our, our numbers. And uh, the key thing is when we check the index number here, if it's already marked as false, then we can skip it because that should mean that everything before that was already marked false. Okay, okay so here's what we'll do. The first thing we'll check is if n is equal to 0 or n is equal to 1, we can immediately return 0. Next, we're going to create an array of primes. And e the index number is going to represent the number. Now, I know 0 and 1 are already should be marked false, so we'll do that as well. We'll say, OK, uh, mark these all as 1 for now, making that a true. And then we'll say, all right, primes 0, make that equal to 0, and primes 1 also make that equal to zero. Okay, so now we need some sort of iterator and we start at the number two. So while, let's see, i is less than n, what do we want to do? Well, now we're gonna have this nested for loop, but we're gonna check all the multiples, right? And what I'll do here is, um, If the primes of i, if this is marked as true right now, that means we want to do our for loop. So we'll say, mm, okay, this is marked as true, but everything else, every multiple after that, we're going to mark as false. So what we'll do is create a temp, and we'll say, all right, mark this temp here equal to the i, and to the temp we'll say plus or equal i. And all the primes of temp, now we're going to make that equal to false. And we have to do this in a while loop. Let's say while temp is less than n. We're going to mark it one of these like this. And once we're out of this, we're going to increase our i by 1. Now at the very end, we should have an array of all the index numbers either marking as marked as true or, true or false. So we're just going to return the sum of these primes right here. So let me make sure I got this right. 
here we'll test out number 10. Ooh, okay, um, times 10. Uh, okay, so I think what I have to do is put it at the end and increase it just one time right before this while loop. All right, so right here you can see two, three, five, seven are marked as prime numbers, and that's true, right? Uh, so this should work for any number. Let's go ahead and submit this. And there we go, accepted. So time complexity wise, it's gonna be n log n. Um, although technically, I think if you wanna get really technical, it's log or n log of log of n. But, you know, that's, it's really not that different. So, so yeah, this is the sieve of, how do you pronounce it? Sieve of Erathothenes algorithm. Pretty useful, uh, anything involving prime numbers. This would probably be a much more impressive solution rather than the brute force method. All right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.